call the meeting to order to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Stand if you're able. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, uh, next we'll start with call to order roll call player on my right. Councilperson Josh Aaron. Mayor Jim John King. Councilperson Craig Anderson. Councilperson Jeremiah Algen. Approval of tonight's agenda. Anything over there? Um, nothing to add, but when we get to the CIP items, uh, we'll have some revisions on resolutions you got with dates and interest rate recommendations. Thank you. All right. I'll move to approve. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Next is approval of council meeting minutes of September 26, 2023. Questions or discussion on any of that? Do we have a motion to approve? Do we have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That will carry. That takes us into finance and budget. We have the accounts payable listings with the additional listing. Do we have any questions? Please direct me to <coughs> finance director Carl. I'll move to approve it. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That will carry. That takes us into motions to general business. First item under motions to general business is the 2023. Uh, CFP project, which would be resolutions declaring cost and setting assessment hearing. Staff is setting the assessment hearing for the North 2023, <coughs> excuse me, for the 2023 North and South CIPs, which includes improvements on Fifth Avenue Southeast from First Street to Sixth Street and Sixth Street to Ninth Street. First resolution needed is to declare the cost and order preparation of assessments for the 2023 South Capital Improvement Project. The total cost of improvements was $2,116,093.17. City portion is $1,885,602.43. The cost to be assessed against the property owners is $230,490.74. Second resolution needed is to declare the cost and order preparation of the assessments for the 2023 North Capital Improvement Project, the total cost of those improvements was $4,292,406.35. The city portion of this is $3,802,246.98. The cost to be assessed against the property owners is $490,159.37. The third and fourth resolutions needed is to call public hearings on the assessments. The staff is recommending, it. well, they're going to give a different recommendation, I take it, aren't you? It's recommending that a uh, public hearing be held at the Sturfield Fire Hall on November 14th at the regular council meeting. So, I guess we want to talk about that a second. We're thinking about. Yeah, so, you know, the projects are similar, but yet they were both unique. Yeah, each had different uh, things about them. So rather than have the citizens kind of mix and match which one uh, thought, why don't we do one like you normally do at your regular meeting, so one can still be on the 14th. And then the other suggestion was, how about the day before we do the other one? What time would you suggest on that? Monday the 13th. The 13th or what time? Whatever works for you guys. Yeah. So, so if you want to move it up a little bit. If you want to move it to 6 or whatever works for us. I think it was a good idea because there was several things that had to be changed on the south end that didn't really match up with the north end. And so the north side ended up costing pretty much double what the south side did? It's twice, well, but it's twice and, it's, and it's wider. And truck route, so a different, a um, little bit different of the difference on the materials. Hmm. Um, okay. 
okay with whatever. Okay. Was Josh? Yeah, that works for me. Jeremiah? Yep, fine with me. All right, which do you want to do first? No, and overall, sure. since you adopted that policy, for the most part, they should do right. well. But but which which but end of the project do you want to do Monday? Make right. any difference? Get, get the big one done. Do the north on Monday, and we'll do the south on the 14th. Then. That still gives you plenty of time to get stuff done, correct? Yes. Um, what time do you want to do it? Oh. <laughs> what? What? Let's flip flop them. The what? south on Monday and the north on Tuesday. And why don't you do them? Why don't you get people to get to kind of time to get home and do them at 6 30 versus That's 6 That's fine, but what do you want to do? Sean would like to switch it to the south on Monday and the north on Tuesday. Why? Does that make sense? Yeah. Why? It's just staff recommendation. Why? Tell you. you want to make him say it? But I want a bigger, a bigger <laughs> thing on a meeting night. Huh? He wants. To You're doing the day. bigger of the two on the meeting mm -hmm. night. It'll be less. It won't be bigger. It'll it be won't less. be as contentious. Less contentious. Okay, fair enough. All right. Do you need four different motions here? Yes. Okay. So, so yeah. well, Monday the thirteenth. Oh, yep. So let's first do dates and then times. Yep. So Monday the thirteenth. So the third, so. your third council action requested on this one, we're looking at making that one the South Capital Improvement project assessment hearing on Monday, right? I'll make that motion. Okay, Six thirty is fine. Just, just wait, because there's other changes that you may want to approve or not approve. Oh, I thought this was updated. <laughs> so are we going to adopt? We're going to go right. Can we do number one adopt resolution to clarify? Yeah. Okay, we're still going to talk about other stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's hear it. I'll okay. get the language let's to fall in because we'll yeah. have to customize the resolutions okay. for our formal archive documents with this information that we give you. All right. So the one item was to divide them up just to keep each neighborhood separate with the items they had. Yep. Then, normally, if we were in a bonding situation, we talk about um, those that want to elect to do the payment process, a 1% over prime. Well, this one, we've been able to use our own financing for it. And so what we're requesting of you to give the citizens another little break is to have, which if it was a bonding situation, we had to do that. It'd be about what eight nine percent prime interest. is eight and a half percent right now. So it'd be nine. Right now, um, Carla was able to uh, find an average of where all our CDs are, and they're about the five percent. So we just thought, let's reduce that normal typical policy to uh, did it come out with about five? about five percent. And that is one of the things that in that new assessment policy that you you guys just adopted, it does state in there that if you're bonding for it, normally that you do 1% over what you're bonding for, but if you're not bonding for it, basically you guys have the opportunity, you can set that to whatever. And the discussion that Bill and I had was, well, if we would have that money, have it put in the bank, it would be making about 5% interest. So do we look at doing something like that, give the citizens another a break to try to help them out based on the situation of the economy, you know, because we're not, in it trying to hurt anybody, we want to help them as much as possible. Where does that fit into our resolutions here? Or do you so that for your resolution declaring costs to be assessed and ordering preparations of proposed assessment, that is number two in both the north and the south one on there. So we're going to just change the eight. What's already written here, the 8.5 to 5% Correct. is what's being suggested, right? I have no problem with that actually at all. Well, we need to vote on that then. Yep. I'll make the motion to change it from 8.5 to 5 for the south side, for the whatever one that is. Okay. I guess that would be the number one adoption, right? Or the, the we got to do it separate for each one. Correct. All right. <clears throat> Motion's made. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. So, does that take care of number one, sir, or do we got to read the resolution? Okay, now we're going to number two. 
As for the north, capital improvement. Do we have a motion to lower it from eight to five? On that one. I'll make that motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Does that take care of that one, Cheryl? Mm -hmm. All right, under number three, adopt resolution calling a hearing on the assessments for the 2023 South Capital Improvement Project. That would be Monday, October 13th. That November. Uh, that was going to actually stay as is with the 14th. Yeah. No. No, well, that one they wanted to do. Yeah, the, the South one's going to go on Monday. Monday and it's November. November. Is that correct? November, yeah. November 14th. 13, 13, Monday. So I'll make a motion to adopt a resolution for the south side assessment hearing to be on the 13th at the fire hall again, I would assume, yep. at 6.30. At 6.30. Comment on that until we have our business meeting on Monday night. Oh, that's your reschedule. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, Can we do it at the Civic Center? Yep. 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 Or, or Wednesday. It's free Wednesday, it's just Monday, it's not free. Let's do it Monday at the Civic Center, if that works. <clears throat> All right, so that, I will amend my motion yeah. to that. That'll work fine. That'll work November 13th, 6.30 at the Civic Center. Yep. Motion's made, do we have a second? <clears throat> second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Number four, adopt resolution calling hearing on assessments for the 2023 North Capital Improvement Project. November 14th at 7 at the fire hall. Correct? Mm -hmm. Do we say at 7 or do we just. No, okay. because it's got a resolution. Okay. So it'll be at the fire hall November 14th for the north. Oh, um, we've got a motion? I'll, I'll make the motion. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That'll carry. Does that wrap that up then? Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Wastewater treatment. Mixer cover project change order number three. This is kind of a reverse change order. It is. It is. It says attached. Please see change order number three for the wastewater treatment plant mixer cover project. This reflects the unit price items that were included for some of the concrete repairs with an estimated quantity, and these were not used in full. So the change order will reduce the total contract to only include the quantities that were used. So if we look at it, we got a twelve thousand dollar deduction in there. Okay. Correct. Perfect. Anybody want to fight over that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Council asks request is to approve change order number three is submitted. I like that motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. Do we have any questions or discussion about it? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. That takes us out of the motions of general business. The mayor, staff, consultant reports. Mayor's report tonight. <clears throat> the city would like to send their sympathies out to the families of Tony Chia, Doris Peterson, Nell Gecki, Jane Hyenga, Isabel Morris, Jim Christie, and Jody Smith Carr. And let's not forget the firefighters open house will be tomorrow night, Wednesday, from 5 to 8. And uh, Brandon, thanks you guys. That was a great breakfast out there. And the school visits the kids enjoy that. How's the breakfast turn out? Was it a record center or not quite? Uh, we were up from last year. I had it in my update here. So, okay. Was it? I don't want to spoil your update. <laughs> no, I, I, can, I can share it now. So, we served 821 people. Which uh, equates out to one person every 29 seconds. All right. Yes. <laughs> so All right. right through. So I thought that was pretty That's good. pretty good. Yeah. Good deal. Thank you. The little free pantries. Thank you to the Boy Scout Jacob mm -hmm. Eden. We built four of the little pantries to help feed Sturtville's hungry. And don't forget that the Sturtville Area Community Foundation is holding a pantry drive this week. Drop off items in the trailer parked at Fairway. And thank you for helping the community out with that. And they, you've got a list of things, most needed items. So if you want to look at the star, imagine it was in the stars this week. Uh, they really appreciate some of that. But anything you can give is well appreciated. So thank you. Don't forget, the Morning Lions will hold their White Cane Days this weekend. Be sure to support them at all the local businesses. You're going to be at the Fairway and 
quick trip. Quick trip. So Casey's. So. They'll be out there. Stop in and visit with them and help them out with their white games. All right. Oh, congratulations to Justin. Stand up. <laughs> Justin and Ivy. They were just happily married on Friday, October 6, 2023. They're going to try and hang in there until their honeymoon in November. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, Justin. One day at a time. <laughs> Before well, you know it, it's 47 years later. <laughs> All right, that's all I have in my report tonight. Oh, I'd like to also just throw out there the skate park was fantastic. Public Works has done a great job. Everybody involved done a wonderful job with that, so thanks a lot on that. Other than that, I'm done. City Administrator's report. Yeah, report in your packet. Um, just a quick follow-up on that. Monday the 16th, uh, the Lowe's folks are going to be helping us out, getting some more work done between 10 and 2. So I know that may conflict with work schedules, but if you get a chance, maybe try to stick your head in. Otherwise, what we're going to do, I talked to Sandra, we'll figure out some kind of formal proclamation, thank you, to give to the Lowe's Corporation, maybe to coincide with when they do a grand opening or ribbon cutting, as our communities thank you for that wonderful grant. And uh, so then obviously you'll get to be a part of that uh, when that comes up. And I think they're looking at the spring right, for that. So we'll keep you posted. Um, and then I just included in the back of my report uh, the two park projects. So if you haven't been out to either park, you can see a little progress on how they have been going and how they've been uh, getting built. And so um, neat, neat, wonderful new assets for our park system. And that should do it. Looks like the concession sand bathrooms move very long out there. Good deal. <clears throat> All right. Thanks, Bill. Any questions for our administrator? All right. Thank you, Bill. Finance Director Carla. Um, still working on a budget, trying to get towards the final budget. Um, was able to go up to the Minnesota GFOA conference, which was fabulous and a lot of really great information. There was over 270 finance people all in one place together, so it was a bunch of geeks. It was great. Um, so the other thing with final budget is I um, would like to do a council workshop and Judd and I kind of talked about this as well as to kind of do the final budget stuff and a, a couple of items for the 2024 um, CIP project and get some of those things ironed out. Uh, didn't know what worked better if you would want to do it before council on the 14th or we can do it before the meeting on the 13th, whatever one works best. Um, if we do it on the 14th, we could do like a 5.15 start. Um, she would give us plenty of time to get through everything for that one. Or obviously then we would go, I mean, if we could go earlier on the 13th, that would work as well too. Mm -hmm. Josh, what do you that? I think either day works. Whatever works best for you guys. Yeah, work for whatever you guys can settle on. What do you two think? Let's do, do what I'm told. Really? <laughs> <laughs> what works the best? It, it honestly, we're we're open either day. We're going to be around. It's going to open either day. It, it really depended on your guys' schedule and the kind of work that we had those two days in a row. We'll try to do it right beforehand so it's not another evening of meetings for you guys. So. Um, good, good day, is Monday? Is that a? Uh, Park board meeting. Yeah. So Brent probably would be tied up. That's fine. Well, he's gonna have to miss it anyway because of the because of the special meetings. So it's at six thirty. So yeah, doesn't matter. The biggest thing would be work schedules because obviously if we will start like five fifteen on Tuesday, so then if we needed to, if we're starting a half hour earlier, that's four forty five. So I don't know if that's gonna. Make a difference for you guys too. I usually, not for me anyways. I don't have a calendar today, so I got a pretty tough schedule. What is okay? 
So Monday, 6.30 meeting, so the proposal here is either to do it an hour before that, right? And how much time is it? It's about an hour, about an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and a half, just depending on how Or, or we can Tuesday. Do it Tuesday before the meeting. And you're saying it went to 5.45, so? No, it'd be 5.15. 5.15. I don't care. I don't want to go to any of them, so I don't, it's, I'm going to go to all of them, but I don't want to. You want to do the Tuesday one, guys? Whatever works best for you guys. So we got to be here any help for that one for sure. Tuesday? Tuesday. 5.15? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fire hall. Yep, with that, it'll be at the fire hall since our meeting's down there. Yep. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Any other questions or anything? For Cheryl, can you send out a reminder of that by chance, please? All right. All right. Sean, Public Works Director Report. Uh, report in there. Uh, just to update you on where things sit. Uh, they got the framings all up for the concrete to be poured tomorrow at the amphitheater for the entire outside stuff. He's going to start working on the stone immediately after. Uh, so that's moving along. Hopefully we get everything sealed up here shortly. Uh, and then the skate park, obviously Bill filled in. The, everything's built over there. I would like to throw a compliment out there to Trog and Woody. <laughs> the two guys that were building, they were fantastic to work with. They did a great job. They stuck at it. They even added on size-wise to some of the features for the bid price, just because the kids, there were so many kids up on top of it. He's like, I'm gonna build that bigger off the back, and he went and redid it. Uh, painted all the stuff, went all so over above. And the guy I saw on Facebook, the one guy was doing like kind of an announcement and talking about, hey, we got a 12-foot platform, and he's using all these lingo that I don't remember from back in my skateboard days, and it's changed, but who, he's affiliated with, company building the stuff or what what is that guy tied to you know I didn't see which video you're talking oh, you didn't? about sure but uh, Sandra said there's a blogger that came out that is oh. old, a guy that is from this yeah, like over, yeah he was well from, I mean, that's a blogger so it was not the guys that were oh building. okay I was just curious but it, I've seen a ton of posts it's it's getting a lot of coverage well as far as they, they got social. here earlier than what they said they were going to and they stuck with it and stayed here work weekends Saturday Sundays till sundown just about every night working on it, and it is built solid. They did a great job. And there's a lot of kids already using it, right? Yeah. Okay. I see our, our new guy is doing all your inspections that you used to send to Sperville Truck. Yeah. So I assume, I assume things are working out well on that end? Yeah. I haven't heard anything, so. Yeah. It's good. Okay. Did you happen to send out any reminders again about quit mowing the lawns up there on the sod? Bill and I had most three after after yeah. been laid for about a week, I, they'd already took it right to the dirt. Well, yes. and I'll be honest with you, I'm not they're responsible for it. We noted it. Uh, if it dies, okay. we're not replacing that. Okay. Well, they got they know. got told they were sent out if they do that stuff, they're on. That's what I learned if it was noted or not, because that, that first one we caught right We, away, we yeah. sent out the instructions and how to take care of everything and said do not mow it for whatever stretch that came or what's okay. up there. But they were giving it, I'm not going to hold hands and babysit. Okay. No, no, I don't. But I and just want to know if it was noted because Bill and I were away with like, it. Huh? We, yeah. If we see it, um, we are putting it in the construction diary okay. and everything. So if there's the ones you do see, I guess we aren't here every day anymore, so let us know. We'll bring some handouts to the two hearings, too, because there's one little paragraph that talks about your concrete as well. So we should be solved. Okay. So all all right. <laughs> Things are looking good. Sean, all over. The guys are doing a great job. We got a real team put together here again now. So it's good for you. Good for the city. Thank you. Any other questions for Sean? All right. Thank you, Sean. City engineer Jenna, you got a report tonight? I think I've been covered in about everybody's report. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, and plus both items today, so I don't think there's anything more to add. Well, the side got put down today. Okay, side got put down. Side's done, and so Fifth Avenue, the south one's done. So, oh, it is, huh? Oh, great. So, we have everything covered. Good. And Just before the rain falls? Yeah, that'd be great. Yep. Yeah. So. Good deal. All right, any questions for Jenna? Just to thank you. She's been helping us with some new state grant programs that we're going to start taking a look at. And then um, she and her staff were helping me today with, um, believe it or not, um, discussions and planning for 15th. Because it's made kind of the first round. That certainly doesn't promise anything. Because he goes, 
we received 1,966 pages of applications for it. But they did a follow-up with us for some clarifications, and he gave us some helpful hints, and the advice that um, Dave and Jim gave was helpful for that, and will come in handy, and so obviously we'll keep working together for that, and sidewalk programs, and things coming up. So Great. thank, thank you. you, Jenna. No library director tonight, so Fire Chief, what do you got? So for the month of September, we had a total of 62 runs, 12 fire calls, and 50 EMS. Um, executive board is setting up interviews for next month, so we're looking at interviewing eight uh, candidates to hopefully fill four positions. Already updated on the breakfast. Mayor touched on the open house, and then the last thing I had was we did receive a uh, grant from Compere Financial, $4,000, so thanks to Carla and Joya uh, for helping with that. So that's gonna go uh, towards purchasing turnout here. We got a few sets that need replaced to stay current, so that'll go to help offset some of that, so. You guys, your new truck's working out well? Perfect. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Yep. And you're rocking the killer chief stash, man. That thing's really <laughs> nice. My wife even saw that on Facebook or somewhere, and she goes, holy cow, look at that thing. <laughs> said, yeah, it's looking good. Or I don't know where she saw it, but there's a picture somewhere. Yeah, that's perfect. Congratulations on that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big deal, man, when you're controlling all these firemen. you got to have that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Any other questions or comments from Chief? Hey, right, thank you. Doing great. No full director tonight, so we go to committee, commission, board, chamber of commerce. Uh, think local first newsletters in there with a lot of information coming up for the next couple of three months. Back local, some fall festivals. <coughs> Anything else you want to add, Al? PDHRA coming up next Tuesday. We have no. Meeting on it is the 24th, is moved to the 24th. Okay. Yes, yeah. at 6 o'clock at Hall Run. It's on the 24th before the council meeting. Is that right? Before it's when? Before the council meeting on the 24th. It is before the council meeting. Yeah, it's at Hall Run. Hmm. All right. Finance. Yes, we're going to talk about that coming right up. Library. Um, not much. We met with the um, architecture uh, folks and uh, reviewed some designs that they came up with last week. So they're looking for uh, feedback from the committee on. Uh, park board. We had a meeting last night. Uh, there's a fellow that's interested in converting the back Meadow Park field into a, a baseball field and getting a mound and everything installed in there uh, for a traveling league. So uh, they're, they're willing to pay, they have the money to pay for it, the stuff they want to add to it. So where, where is that going to be at? The back field, the old field at Meadow Park? Yeah, well, way, way back in the end of it. Is that a really? Is that one or what? No. Okay, that's cool. What's this? Tall grasses and Russian sage and cold That's the, I think that's, that's the state park, 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 what they're looking at to oh, some of the. Oh, okay. Where did that come from? Sandra. Oh, oh the park room? Okay, park. Okay, there's adventures and racks. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right. Okay, personnel. Nothing yet? Nothing so. Plan is only? Nothing. Public safety? <clears throat> Nothing. Life or death going on. Nobody throwing tacos at each other? Nothing. Well, that happened, but it's not going to happen with them, so. Okay. Yeah, and I, I want to thank you, too, that I've heard a lot of good stuff about your service so far down here since you've taken over. And one of them, even, I got a hold of Cheryl just because I... We've been dealing with so many tent encampments in Rochester like crazy. So on my way to work that morning and I saw that tent down there and I just thought, oh, I hope it's not coming down. Like just, you gotta be on it right away. And I got a hold of Cheryl. She said, you were already out there like right away. So I appreciate that stuff because it can be very problematic if you're not on it right away. Yeah. Well, hopefully we're still with that, so. 
Oh, thanks, Sean. That's good too. And I have no idea in this situation. I don't. I mean, and I really normally am not that. Uh, nosy about it, but man, it's really become an issue in the city of Rochester, so it's... Question that how long we're going to be there. I don't know, 60 days? And I haven't heard if there's yeah. a complaint. You, so you guys scooped up the, the property and are holding it? Because there, there wasn't anybody there at the time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know the exact amount of time on that. I can probably find out, but you, we do have to hold on to it just in case they claim it. Yeah, and I, we did. I mean, it was fine. Yeah. Oh, Justin's doing a fantastic job. He has since the day he got here. Thank you for that, Justin. <clears throat> Public works? Nothing. Ready? No report. Roll call? No report. Transit Advisory Committee? No report. Communications? You got your uh, energy assistance from some CAC. It's there for. If citizens want. Yeah, take advantage of where they can go and get that. Yeah, we get some help yeah. with their uh, energy problems. All right, open mic. Anybody want to use the open mic tonight? Don't look like it. We're looking for the last motion. I'll move to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. Someone say aye. Aye. Opposed? We adjourn.